This sounds kind of crazy, mm -hmm. but imagine being awake and receiving a kidney transplant. Well, it is a medical advancement that may change how some transplants are done in the future. <laughs> Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain how it's possible. There are more than 101,000 people in the U.S. waiting on a kidney transplant, hoping a matching donor will be found. But some patients have found another challenge to overcome. They have conditions that make going under anesthesia high risk. Well, now a new approach to surgery could help these patients get the kidney that they so desperately need. That's the kidney. This is the moment that changed John Nicholas's life. He's the very first known patient to be awake Make during sure. his own kidney transplant surgery. They called out my name and, and told me about certain milestones they had reached. Like, oh, hey, you know, we, we actually connected it. Hey, we're sewing things up. John has been living with kidney issues since he was diagnosed with Crohn's disease in high school. It was an elementary school pal, Pat, who came to his rescue and donated his kidney. We've always said to each other that, you know, we're, we're, ride or die friends. For some patients, general anesthesia can cause life-threatening complications, including breathing and cardiovascular problems. So surgeons from Northwestern are using a single spinal anesthesia shot, the same type of anesthesia used for C-sections, giving higher risk and older patients a chance for transplantation. 74-year-old Harry Stackhouse was the second patient to have the surgery while awake, with a kidney donated by his daughter. He's 74 years old. And we know that when we do general anesthesia on older patients, they have more of a significant cognitive decline. The surgery took less than two hours. Not one time did I feel, in, not even a shot. I didn't feel anything. Harry was home within 36 hours. John walked out of the hospital the very next day. He literally walked out of the hospital less than 24 hours after a kidney transplant. Just those words in and of themselves is amazing. Giving more patients a chance of a dialysis-free, healthy life. Northwestern Medicine is currently the only one in the country with this type of program. Now, obviously, it's not for everyone, but for people who are at high risk for complications from general anesthesia, this opens a new door of possibility 